everyone goes through something. Everyone goes through something in their life that changes them forever. I first lived in Tucson, Arizona with my three sisters and my mom and my dad. And like we began to struggle and we started living in hotels and shelters and relatives' houses. In one year, we probably moved four times, so it's like every, every three months we probably moved. And we had moved so much that I wouldn't really try to make friends, so I hung out with no one and I didn't talk to anyone. I couldn't really talk to anyone about how I felt or what was going on. I didn't know how to take out my anger the right way. It pushed me towards rebelling towards my parents and not listening to them and being upset and angry and punching holes in walls and just getting mad at like, the littlest things. The outbursts and the anger that she experienced, what, it was scary. In an attempt to find employment, Sydney's family moved again, this time to California. When we moved here, we had no money, we had nothing. I had a job offer, and when we expected to have jobs when we came out here, but unfortunately, that fell through. So we ended up moving to hotels here. This hotel gave us like vouchers so you could stay there for free but then they, they ended up running out. Every three days, we would have to leave a hotel. Every three days, they'd be like, okay, you need to move to another one in this city, and another one in this city. So I'd end up missing school. So it affected my grades, and it affected my learning, and it affected me being able to make friends and trying to open up to people, because, I mean, how can you tell someone that you're homeless, and how do you tell like your peers that? How do you say, I need a friend to talk to, I need someone to support me through this? It's like, that's overwhelming. After weeks of moving from one hotel room to another, Sydney's family discovered The Door of Hope, an outreach for homeless families. It's through The Door of Hope where we've learned to communicate more effectively and uh, even as a family, how to deal with tough times. Over time, Sydney began to understand the importance of communicating her feelings and that her pent-up anger wasn't going to make things any better. You don't have to have that mindset of like, well, I'm in this situation, I'm gonna make it terrible. I'm, gonna, I'm in a terrible situation, so I'm gonna be miserable. I saw something change inside of her. It's like she became stronger. She stepped up to the plate and she became a different kind of teenager. With a new outlook on her situation, Sydney, through a writing assignment in class, was given an opportunity to reach out to her new classmates. They said, write what makes you you. Who are you? We want to know who you are. So I sat down and I wrote it. After months of internalizing her anger, Sydney shared what she was going through with the entire class. I was relieved that I actually got to tell people about it. It's helped me understand that I'm not just alone in this. Sydney has learned that she can move forward in a positive direction even through difficult circumstances. I've learned that you can't change what's given to you, you can't change the circumstances that you're in, but you can make them the best and you can push forward through them. 